Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Cancers. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again to bring you your general weekly tarot and oracle card forecast for January the 17th to the 23rd. Keep in mind, this is strictly a general, not a personal and private reading, and not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. So, Spirit, what do, does Cancer need to see, know, and expect for this week? Let's see what we have here, Cancer. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> okay. So we do have... Uh, one extra card here today for your your oracle messages and each one is going to work in conjunction with the cards that come out for this week so you know you have the nine of wands and you have the queen of swords so let's see what we have here my beautiful cancers messages for cancer got the six of swords okay i'm going to take that because it literally flew out this way and there's another one with it. So we're going to take them both. No, we're not. Spirit says, no, you're not. You're going to take one card that's loose, not stuck. Well, they did give me two, but they're loose. They weren't stuck together. So, okay. I will clarify as well again, okay, as we move through this reading. So let's see what we have here. Okay, starting off with your first card here, my beautiful Cancers, you've got Go the Distance and Nine of Wands. Very, uh, very apropos that these two would come together. Um, I do think that you're going to have to dig deep for some strength this week. Stand, stand your ground and go in for the long haul, okay? I think, you know, with the Nine of Wands, that's what it says. Don't give up. Don't roll over. Keep moving forward. You've created something here that you've worked on for a very long and hard time. Don't give up on that. Stay positive, okay, to go to the distance. Um, I think that, you know, right now, um, you know, you need to realize that life is not a sprint. It's not a rush from the from the start to the finish line. Um, taking your time. You need to have some endurance and strength and fortitude to carry out what you know out what you want to do and to be able to go all the way. All right. So I think you know you're you're you are really really working hard towards a goal. But right now, I think you get times where you want to give up, and I think you need to stand your ground. Okay. This is about you know enduring something here, going and and wanting to have long term plans here and you know to take action and go for what you want um, you've got that coming in here so definitely don't give up on anything that you're working on uh, that's a big message here go the distance okay uh, that means hang in stand in your due diligence stand in your determination stand in your your law of attraction and stay positive now your next card you've got is unlikely and that is the answer from the from the angel answer card so right now there could be something that you might be inquiring about you might be <clears throat> thinking about and you know uh, it's not going to occur. It's unlikely right now. So just stand again. Place your focus on an alternative possibility uh, that you're working on right now. And open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what the one you originally planned. So there could be a shift of energy here. I think you're giving up something. You're letting go of something. This could be a friendship. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. It could be anything. <clears throat> and I think that you've come to the realization that it's pretty much outlived its, its uh, experience date and it's welcome in your life so you know this shows a single woman here she's often referred to as a divorcee or a widow and she's strong and independent and she stands up for herself from you know and she doesn't give in and she she walks away from any of that toxic energy that may have been holding her back uh of being her true self so some of you might be doing that it's unlikely maybe that um <clears throat> whatever you're asking right now is going to happen at this moment but i think you've made a calculated uh decision uh to move forward in a new direction cleaning house getting rid of any toxic energy getting rid of any of those chains that are holding you back from being your true self and seeing the light in a situation I like that Queen of Swords. Okay, 
Um, coming in again, you've got the Shield Maiden, Make Plans and Focus with the Six of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from something here, my beautiful Cancers. Um, <clears throat> it could have been a friendship or a relationship, but you could be leaving something behind, going to a better job or a better position. And, you know, you fought for yourself. You, you know, you put up your shield, but then, you know, you realize that, you know, you have to pick your battles wisely, right? You can't just go into battle mode and, and you know, make something happen uh, that isn't may meant to happen. So I think... You know, you've been given a strong message here that you're going in a new direction. I think you're leaving behind troubled waters. I think whatever this situation is that you've walked away from, you're moving away from here, uh, you know, you've got rid of, you've decided that, you know, there's a better future for you. Okay, you, you deserve better. You deserve more. Maybe you were in a one-sided relationship where the other person wasn't reciprocating with due courtesy and love and, and, <clears throat> and helping you to grow and expand and wasn't supporting you. So, you know, life does that to us and it does hurt. But you need to have a strategy now. You're moving forward here. Make plans and focus on where it is you want to go in this new direction. Um, and stand your ground. I mean, things are going to happen here where you're going to see the universe, if you stay open-minded, is going to open doors of opportunity for you, whatever they are, whether it's a new opportunity for a job in your career or whether it's you're going to meet somebody new you're going to have a gr or new people in your life where you're going to have a great relationship and friendship that's going to come in that should have been around you all the time now coming in here with your next card you've got the dolphin spirit this and that are true okay so something you know something has happened here definitely the truth has come forth here and you've seen the light and you've decided you know i'm out of here i'm moving on okay so I know that you're at the right place right now, okay? But you might feel as though you're still in between worlds with something in your life here. Uh, you're going forward, but you might feel that you're still, you know, you're still, you know, got one foot in, in one world and another in the other. So that could be in anything here. Maybe some of you are moving on from one job to the next. Maybe you're leaving a relationship and moving into a new one or just finally coming to the conclusion that you're going in a new direction. But you're the star, my beautiful Cancers. This has to do, um, I'm seeing this more of a friendship rather than a love relationship. So um, I think, you know, you're the star. You're going out there. People are going to notice you. You're going to see light at the end of the tunnel and wish upon a star whatever you're really manifesting here can come true as long as you step up and believe it okay you need to step up and believe that things are going to work out in your favor uh you know this is a car of prosperity and happiness and you know stepping up and realizing that you can have what it is that you want so you know do that you have the power to do that my beautiful cancers don't give up on yourself here okay don't give up on this situation that has brought you down this week all right so have faith have faith that you're in the right you're going in the right direction and you may have a new beginning here and it's going to be a happier one and it's you know you're on the p right path now you know maybe something ended that you've always realized wasn't on firm ground and you finally come to that conclusion that you know the universe gave you a wake-up call here to move on and get rid of something here that that you know wasn't uh wasn't making you happy or completing you but you're going in a better direction because you are going to be able to shine your light out there my beautiful so glow up my beautiful beautiful uh cancers this is about a good time make your plans okay right now with a long view in mind going that distance think about what's going to last here for you coming in with your last card here you have surrendered to prayer and you have the page of cups so it says here give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will come and i do believe that i mean you know everything i do is through faith and through spirit and um, i'm an intuitive reader i follow what spirit tells me so, so you know i know the meanings of the cards and i do tell them but often spirit steps up and tells me other things that you need to hear as well so you know what i think you're going to be tapping into something you could be wanting something here to occur with a young person Person. maybe there's somebody around you here with this page of cups and you know you're going to take this relationship to the next level and you're wanting to pray that it happens so whatever you've done here to make something happen here this page brings the messages as all pages do and this particular one brings attention affection respect and possibly romance to your life this person could look younger act younger perhaps be younger and you may be saying ah i don't know whether i want to go out with this person what are people going to say you know let go of what other people think this is up to you my beautiful cancers to make the life that you want happy 
okay this is about you and the only one that you need to answer to is yourself but I think you've been manifesting something here something uh, where you're wanting to have your page in your life you're wanting to have someone in your life uh, right now and I want you to continue doing that and step into the power of your faith whatever the sources be and the powers that be that you lean into um, you know the power of prayer is very very powerful as we all know now let's see what we've got here let's see what we have here for clarification my cancer spirit what does cancer need to see no expect let's see let's see what we have here all right Coming in uh, with your go the distance and the nine of wands, you've got the death card. Yeah, you're definitely moving on from a situation here. This is the end of something. Uh, it could be the end of a contract, a work, uh, something like that. It could be re moving. Maybe you're relocating. It could also be. But I am seeing a big situation here where you've ended a relationship with somebody here. But the rose is the new beginning. It's be it's it's bringing you this new beginning and doors of opportunity to open up because it is a rebirth card. I'm never afraid of the death card. I'm never afraid of the tower card either because it's always about changing our lives for the better and moving on in a new direction so it's almost as though it was karmically organized organized here for you as hard as it is sometimes to have to face that now with your unlikely uh, and your queen of swords you have the five of wands so there could be some competition around you you may have had struggle you may have had to you know there was push pull energy uh, in a situation and you finally said you know what I'm done I'm out of here I'm not dealing with this anymore I'm going to be better and stronger and I'm going in a better direction here because I deserve more okay coming in with your shield maiden making plans and focusing on your move with the six of swords going in that new direction you have the four of swords I think this has mentally taxed you uh, you've been very uh, you know this upset you it, it taxed you emotionally and spiritually and mentally and you know it chipped away at your heart a little bit but you know what in the long run you're go you've taken time to to take time to get your rest and think about it and now you've made the right move my beautiful cancers uh, to move forward in this new direction and maybe some of you have not been getting your sleep. So this is a card of lack of sleep and insomnia. So do what you need to do uh, to put yourself in that place. Look what you have here with, uh, you know, between worlds here. You're, you're going forward, but you're still kind of, you got one foot in the, in the other world. And the star, uh, you know, here, you've got, again, the double message here of the side by side here the six of swords so you're definitely you've come to a conclusion you're moving in a brand new direction and it's going to be a better one so whatever whoever you've dealt with whatever the energy is whatever choices you've made here you cleaned house you made the right decisions okay coming in with our surrender to pairs prayer and spirit you have a beautiful opportunity here you have the ace of wands and the ace of wands is all about opportunity it's all about moving forward here in a progressive way wands are all about taking action so i do believe that you're going to be taking action here moving towards your goals and making something happen here okay you could be hearing about something an opportunity that's going to knock on your door and maybe it has to do with this young energy someone who you're attached to someone who you you know you're, you're going to be amping up that relationship with here so go for it don't be afraid okay you could be starting something new also in the form of a business or you could be receiving something a new job or a different position at your place of work or even getting a promotion or a commendation about something but know that this is always about a fresh new beginning a positive one wow well let's see let's recap this because this was such a quick direct reading here my beautiful cancers let's let's recap this okay i think you know a lot of you here uh you know you might have put yourself out here you might have gone the distance in a relationship or for some situation in your life and you know what you didn't give up there were times where you thought you could and in return what happened was you realized that you had to go in a new direction you had to leave something behind you put enough investment into something and you realize now that it's ended and you've got to go forward you know whatever it was you hear what you wanted here it's unlike but this usually means it's because there's something better coming in for you when you look back hindsight you're going to say yeah you know what this was not a good situation I needed to walk away from that I needed to get rid of that negative energy it, you, it's almost as though it was preordained and you knew in your heart of hearts that you weren't 
really comfortable in that situation and it was a struggle though for you to let that go now you've got you know with the make plans here with the shield maiden and with you going on in a new direction with the six of swords it did tax you so get your rest don't allow yourself to get emotionally or spiritually upset because i'm going to tell you something usually when this happens the other person isn't even giving it a thought uh they you know they tend to be def defensive i see narcissism i see selfishness i'm sorry but cancer i gotta call it the way i see it so <clears throat> and i know people personally that are going through this as well so you know what get your rest my beautiful friends because it's showing me you're not really getting that full comfortable sleep do what you have to do clear your space if you do reiki do reiki open those shock and fill them with white light um call in your call in your team to help surround you in that in that healing light <clears throat> now with your you know um you know again you know coming in here you've got this double message and this message says you're going in the right direction okay the universe has shone down on you and you and you're now able you know you're taking your time but to move into this new this new direction this new part of the path and your new journey here now but know that you're going to be happier you're going to be surrounded by those who truly care love and support you at the end of this reading with your prayer yes stand in the power of the sources and the powers that be that you lean into because you know uh my beautiful cancers being quite spiritual you know that it works and i think you're going to be connecting with a beautiful sign here could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces or not <clears throat> but you could be connecting with someone who maybe has water in their chart but i do see that there's going to be the opportunity to go for what you want and there's going to be some opportunities here maybe for some of you involved with this particular person that could have to do with your job and your career as well well my beautiful cancers this is your reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week to look forward to just you know stand in the power of who you are honor yourself love yourself and respect yourself to know that you deserve to go in a new direction and it's going to work out it's so much better for you that you do this this week let's all continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and i send you many blessings and much love see you soon